We looked at what our facility needs were. There were two major parts of that. One was a need to expand and modernize our operating room suite. That includes four new operating rooms. The second piece of that project, and probably the more important of the two, uh, is a significant expansion to our neurosciences program here. Alexian Brothers is renowned for its Neurosciences Institute. We'll be moving all of our uh, patients from our existing West Tower, which is original to the hospital from 1966, into a brand new modern facility with 36 beds that are ICU capable uh, and will provide state-of-the-art care for our neurosciences patients. We were brought on very early in the, the construction process. We were able to help guide the owner with budget concerns, constructability concerns, schedule logistical impacts to this project. One of the great things with being involved so early is as everyone's working to design how it's going to look and how we're gonna make it work, we're looking at the details. How do you build that? How does that affect the constructability of it? There's certain steel elements that we needed ahead of time. There's certain shutdowns we had to plan for ahead of time so that we're not waiting for materials, we're not delaying the project. We experienced probably one of the most volatile times this past year in the construction market, trying to plan ahead for commodity pricing, for lead times on major equipment, anything from steel to metal decking to our RTUs that are feeding the new surgery suite has been a, a real challenge. Our team did a great job of identifying those risks and mitigating them early on. Walsh was selected primarily because of their experience. Anytime you're doing a healthcare construction project, particularly one of this scope and magnitude, there are a lot of regulations and policies, either state or federal, that impact what you can and can't do. And having a firm that has extensive healthcare experience will make that design, that discussion, that construction process much more fluid. We really value ourselves as being a construction services provider where we can help in any gamut from early master planning, through design, through construction, even through closeout, activation, transition, equipment planning services for our customers. So it's really soup to nuts uh, suite of services that we can offer to all of our customers. We're definitely no stranger to very complicated, large, complex vertical expansion projects, both here in Chicago and across the country. And one of the most notable ones that we've completed recently was the 24-story addition to the Blue Cross Blue Shield building downtown Chicago, where we built that on their existing 33-story structure. That is one credential that we brought to the table here that really stood out to Ascension and Alexian Brothers. Whatever you're building on top of a building where you have patients, we have our ICU, our telemetry unit, our post-orthopedic care, um, all in the East Tower, we continue to have patients seeking care and, and receiving care in those buildings throughout the duration of the construction project. Walsh, uh, clearly a leader in vertical expansion, uh, was selected for their expertise in that area, as well as their track record on safety. We're not only caring for the safety of our trades that are working on the job, but we're making sure that we're providing a safe place for patients, doctors, and nurses to come in and out of this, this building. Operations do not stop with this hospital while we're building this building. So logistics are, are very critical when we're working around an active campus. We're extremely landlocked. Um, we're building in between two existing buildings, adding vertically to another. We've got roads, we've got ponds, we have existing common utilities we have to protect and work around. So it's a very complicated, congested site that we're working with. We have you know, daily communication with the facility staff so that they know where we're gonna be working in their facility day in and day out. There's a lot of uh, MEP systems that we have to retrofit. So coordinating shutdowns, coordinating temporary work so that we can keep patient rooms and patient areas active throughout construction has been very key. What I love about this project overall is not just the engagement during the design process, but also ongoing as we go through construction. On a weekly basis, the Walsh team, the design firm, and our directors over perioperative services, uh, over our nursing units, they meet and they talk about what's happening in the construction project, issues that are coming up, major timelines, major events that may impact patient care and patient safety. And we work together and collaboratively on that. And then once a month, we have an executive update where we talk about where we are in terms of budget, scope, timeline. Are there any major changes that need to be discussed and approved? And I think that, that collaborative process gives both of us confidence.